the PvP event, the final event of our showdown today. We're going to start with the 2v2, and uh, you get five points for the winning duo. Uh, then we move on to the PvPVE section of the game. Five points if you defeat a member of the opposing team in the area. Five points if you successfully complete an event in the zone. Ten points if you interrupt the opponent during an event, if you basically stop it or wipe them out if they're trying to you know, clear their, um, their, their cinders or whatever. Um, and Oh, sorry, it says cinders in here, but they're different. It's not necessarily cinders. And, and then ten points uh, to the team that submits the most, I guess the, whoever clears the most of uh, the shards that drop in the PvP zone. Whoever clears the most gets ten points for the team. You get points I guess, for um, killing an opponent, check it. and you get points for interrupting events. Sorry, yeah, I think we should check everyone's red dust count before we start. <laughs> Minus zero. <laughs> mm, that's a good oh, yeah, point. Okay. I'm gonna pause yeah, the screenshot um, for mine. I mean, I it should check. zero. Yeah. If the if the uh, production team is watching, you can see on their screen like how much dust they have when they start the event, and then when it clears, uh, you'd have to be quick with it. But if you want to just take the difference before and after, just to have maybe posted in the channel. So uh, we, Does clearing uh, so the know. dust count as an event completion? I guess it should, right? It's an event, When basically. we say, yeah, I, I'm taking it as yes. So I, I'll, I'll, mm -hmm. I'll, I'll make the executive decision here and say yes, that clearing, being able to clear your red dust in the zone, because I think one, that would get the most action too. I think that's best for the event, is that clearing your dust would count as an event completion. All right. So, okay. like submitting, like you know, handing it in, doing the timer, the one minute down, doing the that's timer, yeah, getting yeah, the fine. timer that's all the way true. down and clearing. Yeah. yeah so, I mean, even if you're picking up one, you yep. know, and going in and clearing it. Yeah, I agree. Uh, yeah, but, I but also, you have to be cognizant of if the other team comes in and and stops you for whatever reason. If you leave the zone, if if they end your event, they get ten points. So, if you're spamming them and you're getting interrupted every time, could work out against you. But there's a, there's a lot that goes into it. It'll be probably adjusting on the fly, but it's sure to be some good action regardless. So uh, any any other clarifications uh, any any of you need? I'm good over here. Well, good luck, oh. have fun, and uh, let's see who wins here in Sanctuary. So, All okay. right, we've well, got the PvP event, the, the main yeah, event that everyone's been looking for. <laughs> We've got Barricade in the top left corner. Barricade's perspective with his teammate, DM, Spiritborn, and Druid. Is the Spiritborn going to factor in? Or are the Druid team of EU going to be too much to overcome? Looks like they're just clearing out some mobs here. But they've got to start out with a 2v2 event and Barricade goes down. Looks like <laughs> look like mobs because Rob has so many summons. But it looks like EU and... So what Rob and Woody take the, the 2v2 round. Huge Wait, can you guys now we're going to enter in uh, to the PvPVE competition, where we went over the rules before, but let me reiterate them just so everyone knows. It didn't seem like the ping affected either <laughs> either team, uh, to be honest. Uh, at least if it did, it didn't show. Uh, so the... the the PvP event is done, so EU is awarded five points for their victory. Now, in the PvP PvE section, they're going to run around the PvP zone, and if you've ever been there, it's a combination of uh, monsters that you can kill that drop dust, and then cleansing zones, where you can go and cleanse your dust. If you run into an opposing teammate in the area, then you can kill them and get five points for each successful you know, kill on an opponent. Um, you also get five points if you clear an event. So there are going to be like whisper events in the area, and but there are also going to be uh, dust events where you can clean your dust in the specific zones. And when someone goes into a cleansing zone and starts to clear their dust, it alerts the whole map. So the opposing team is going to know when you're trying to clear your dust. I just got dropped it too. So they brought everyone back in. Okay. Dude, how is the poison Dude, nice fucking you, damage, boys. Love it. 
get the poison crazy, man. <laughs> Dude, you, I just, yeah, actually one shot. Yeah, really, really good. You guys are I good to go. Him to death, man, in one go. You guys are good Dude, to go split crazy. up now and uh, and PvPVE. You don't have to stay here if you want to. You're you're more than welcome to. You can accumulate points that way. But if you'd like to go and do events, you're uh, welcome to start that now. And uh, and and good luck. May the the dust be in your favor. Thank you. And uh, good luck, and we'll guys. See how it plays out. Good luck, guys. Good luck. All right. Good luck, good luck. Let's do All it. Right. Good luck. All right, let's do this event. Some you want us to... EU is just better. So it seemed like EU pretty handily took care of Team NA there in those uh, those first events. Now it's a little bit different. You factor in the elements. Um, you know, you, you can be quick to clear. If I were Team EU... I would be on top of Team NA right now. Knowing I have that kind of power advantage over them uh, means that the more kills I can r rake up, the better. Um, alternatively, it looks like what they're doing is they're pushing the envelope and forcing Team NA to come to them while they're cleansing their stones. See, the reason why I don't think this is the best move is because if EU is just focused on protecting their zone here, NA could be doing the same thing and cleansing their own dust and basically no one would interrupt each other and with Team NA already having the lead, they could just carry that lead out if they just don't engage. But they chose to engage, maybe they took the bait there and, uh, and not only now are Team EU going to get a successful clear on their dust, but it also seems like they're going to be raking up points for each kill um, as Team NA just runs in and gets demolished. I'm, I'm curious here if Team NA can sneak out any kills over Team EU or if they are just that strong. Let's see. It looks like... I saw Barricade rush in on those Spiritborn and do about half life to both of the players. It doesn't look like he was able to finish off the kill and it looks like, again, both of the NA players go down while EU is clearing their Cinders. They're going to have to get some lucky hits in, it seems, if they want to take out these druids. They've leveled more throughout the event. They came prepared. They were planning for PvP the whole time. Not to say that NA wasn't prepared. It was also their plan to get as many points as they can in the two previous matches, you know, in the first two legs. Um, in the event that they come to PvP and they get you know their butts handed to them which so far seems like it's the case all the more reason to get your channel points in if you're supporting team na and you have a thousand channel points you can give them a one point boost to their total same works for eu um and get them an extra point added to their score I, 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 it's insane after we've been here for almost two hours and we are tied dead heat 243, 243. NA has now gotten up to 248. But it is neck and neck from these point redemptions, too. Keeping the keeping the fight interesting, keeping these two teams very close together. And we've got about 15 minutes left of the PvP event, and that means we're gonna be getting the secret code very, very shortly. I am okay now to reveal the secret code. Everyone, are you ready? Let me know in chat if you're ready for the secret code. Follow the channel if you're ready for the secret code. This is five extra. Five extra. You got to go to the Gleam. You got to enter the secret code. I'm going to spam it in chat now. No code. I'm spamming in chat now. Five, four, three, two, go. Class quest diff. Type it in. Not V, not V, not V. <laughs> Class quest diff is the secret code. It's up on the screen. Go to your Gleam link. All the ways that you can enter are now following the channel. Choose your team. If you haven't yet, it's neck and neck. It's anyone's game. And type in class quest 
diff for that five extra entries into the Gleam giveaway. I need to go do it now. Yeah, on Gleam, guys and and gals, everyone. Um, you need to you need to go into the Gleam link! Exclamation point giveaway. This link. Here you go. This is the link. Everyone go there. Yeah, make sure you type it in there. So you enter the secret code for five extra chances. The site's working. I have it up on my screen. I have it up on my screen. Just try to refresh. It's it's probably a lot of uh, traffic going on. Uh, but it is a global giveaway. Anyone can enter. It doesn't matter where you're from. Everyone is eligible. You just have to go to the link, enter, just refresh, refresh, refresh. It's working. Trust me. The site is being DDoSed by us. Yes, exactly. Give it a chance. There's still time. Once we're done, once we're wrapped up, we'll announce the winner. But this is how you enter the giveaway. If you're not followed to the Twitch channel already, make sure you're followed. You get one entry there. You get an entry for picking the right team. And you get five for the secret code. I'm going to give you the secret code one more time. It's also on the screen. Type that into the Gleam link and claim your five free entries. Good luck. Team NA is so close. It's neck and neck. 251 versus 249. Who's getting close to the channel points? 880 channel points. Who's getting close to a thousand? The channel points are gonna are literally gonna be the difference in this. Site is broken. Refresh. Try refreshing. Oh my gosh, 929. <laughs> there are so many people getting close to a thousand right now. That's actually. Are you all planning on using your points to give a point to your team? Oh wow, there's so many people that are getting close to a thousand points. That's insane, a hundred percent. They're like, I don't care about asking the teams a question. Why don't I go in and ask them some questions though in the meantime? Since, since you, you guys can all save your channel points. Any questions you'd like to, ha you'd like me to ask? Let's, let's check in with uh, Robin Woody this time first. Man, the chat is going crazy for EU right now. How are you guys feeling? They're pushing it's amazing, so they man. Can, uh, like, is a ton of fun. Fun. You feel strong? Yeah. You look strong. Yeah, they, they need like five more levels, man. This would be badass, actually. I think they're <laughs> a little bit too low. Uh, it's unfortunate. Yeah. Well, any, like, any... We were like way behind coming the start, on the left. Though. How yeah, are you trying money. to take advantage the most of the power differential here? Well, we're trying to force fights like yeah. at all times, basically, like turn in. I mean, they don't necessarily have to fight us, but um, I was do. thinking the same thing. I saw that when you went for the, the clear, you're, you're giving them, you know, you're trying to force combat. But if they just go and clear their own instead, they could they could sort of keep the points kind of fair. But it seems like they're taking the bait and. Uh, wow. Yeah, you got him, Woody? Yeah, I got him. Nice. Have, uh, yeah, sorry, Lucky. Uh, yeah, yeah, they're, they're, they're doing it. Like, they're, like, yeah, we're they're, they're taking to fight, the bait, they, they, and, and they're going in. They're not backing down from the challenge. I'm sitting on... Yeah, yeah. Like, I mean, it's definitely like, way more entertaining like this. Oh, for sure. sure. For sure. Yeah. And the spirit born, like, it does a lot of damage. And when he's in I the barrier that. form, it's almost impossible to kill. Yeah, it seems uh, like he, he comes in and he's, like, chunking you guys for half your life or something. It looked like it seemed pretty strong. Yeah, like, Barrick has some pretty strong bursts, and he's also pretty defensive. But I'm also very defensive. Like, I have three, basically four defensive skills on my bar right now and then I just yeah. shot them. And they but I think if he if, if Barricade had the spirit born quest like Jaguar Hall or something like that and triggers right. that like we would one shot. The toxic skin. So yeah. Like not just the that Jaguar Hall. The Jaguar Hall is not that strong here right now, but the Eagle would be very powerful. Yeah, you can like evade a little bit, you can shoot the feathers. Oh yeah. I think I see them uh, on the top left uh, top left the fights out a little bit. Oh man I didn't yeah, Eagle Spirit see, Hall would have been huge for PvP. I mean, oh, I have my cool depending on how sec, much you get to refresh as you did. Alright, I won't bother you guys too much. You're doing great. Keep it up. I'll talk to you later. Okay, I got the M. Almost. Yeah, nice. The that Spirit Born is crazy, man. Are you dead? No, the, the M is down. I'm not dead. Let's wait for this. Down. Yep. Okay, barriers up. Get back up. for the fight to end before we talk to them. All right, DM went down. DM, how are you guys feeling? Uh, the shred is very difficult to counter. Um, very scary. 
very well put together shred build. Yeah. Rob's getting tattooed. He's got, you know, companion power, but that shred is tough to beat. At low level, it's very tough. Uh, they, I was just talking to Rob and Woody, and they do seem a bit afraid of you, Barricade. What are you doing to make them so scared? Smashing buttons. <laughs> they were very concerned so with the Spirit Born's power. Seems like you're chunking them pretty, pretty, pretty much. Uh, you know, when you right when you get in there, and you've got some good defensive skills on. Yeah, we just wiped them out. Yeah, so it's counter. It's counter attack. They're losing the counter attack. Mm. That's all it is. Our turn. Pick up some seeds and get in there. We're pretty far behind now. Like they're they're shutting the door on us. So their their end game strategy is very very effective. But I think um, I think that's the only way they could win is through this strategy because we kind of. Kind of had him the first two, right? Yeah, you're not. And I, I'm, I'm noticing like Tommy. There's a, a little bit of a power differential here, but you're not backing down from a fight, and I love to see no. it. It's it's uh, it, it's very entertaining, and uh, you, you guys think you can pull it out? Yeah. Um, it's difficult to say. I can try. I can do my best. You know, I can do my best. All right. Well, you uphill battle. You've got a lot of a lot of support oh. here in the chat. A lot of yo yo yo's yeah, in chat. Yeah, well, and we and DN's got yo -yo -yo. the best hair. I'm hearing a lot yeah. of. So. Oh yeah. Ah. <laughs> so you, you, the support is here for you guys. Enjoy the last leg of this, and, uh, Thank and good you, luck to you. Thanks, really. Sure. Yep. So I think we're down by about a hundred points, man. So we have to shut the door now. And they need your help. If you have barricades, emotes, <laughs> or DMs emotes, spam them in chat. They need all the love they can get right now. This is starting to look like a runaway. Oh my gosh. Do they still... Have you all left your team? Nah, we got a lot of love, I'm seeing. We got a lot of DM love, a lot of barricade love. Ten minutes left. So there's plenty of time left to close the gap. Oh, they leveled up, so they're red to us. <laughs> but um, as you can see on Barricade's screen, it's not looking great. I, would, I will say, though, that PvP in Diablo 4, while you're at this state, and I think even at the introduction of the game, <laughs> is actually quite fun and balanced and it, it can actually be a really good time it's when you get to like the end game and this is what a lot of pvp players the feedback that i've heard is that it's sort of imbalanced when you get to like super end game gear and all your perfect affixes but i remember just starting out going into the pvp zone and actually having a lot of fun before everything got min maxed out the wazoo uh you know with with that total with all that end game stuff you heard it from from uh woody and rob they were really enjoying now maybe they're enjoying it because they're sweeping the floor with team na but uh, when I watch these fights, it does seem like at least Team NA has a chance. Barricade seems to be doing some pretty good damage. With the level advantage and the class quests, the Team EU has a bit of an advantage, but it still seems like any fight can be won through skill alone and not just the fact that Team EU got to a higher level and is a bit stronger. Team EU the best? Okay. <laughs> EU, EU is yeah, sounding yeah, off right now in the chat. Are, are we gonna, okay? We had a chance for NA to sound off. EU, continue to sound off. If you're here for Rob and Woody, I'm seeing a lot of Rob and Woody emotes. Man, can you can you believe it? They were down by so many points in those first two legs. But the, the points since this PvP event have shot through the roof, if you think about it. In order to get five points earlier on, it was taking them two, three minutes to clear a dungeon in order to get five points. Now, you rush in, the fight takes 20, 30 seconds, and that's it. That's another five points awarded. Plus, it seems like everyone is getting their channel point redemptions from following the channel and awarding one point to their teammate. As we saw earlier, Team EU has about a two-to-one advantage in chat. Uh, and the total channel point redemption so far, NA has redeemed 70 points and EU has redeemed 103. <laughs> so that's 33 points advantage just from everyone watching right now into the fight and into the scoring. So this is going to be one of the last chances as we wind down here. We've got around, you know, five or six minutes left. 
make sure you're entered into the giveaway because that drawing is going to be done soon. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a quick check Follow the channel. Go to the Gleam. Enter the secret code, which is on the screen now. And vote for your team if you haven't already. Because the winner will be announced. Okay? Exclamation point giveaway for the link. So we heard from both teams. It seems like the strategy from Rob and Woody are to force the combat, right? They know they're stronger. They know they can win maybe eight times out of ten in a head-to-head -head battle. So they are forcing the combat by trying to clear their souls or their uh, red dust uh, every chance they get. One, they get points for just completing the objective. Uh, two, they force combat, which they get more points from. And then three, at the end of the event, whoever has cleansed the most dust gets another little bit of a bonus. But it seems like the most points are really coming from these quick and fast battles where you get points just for defeating an opponent. And NA keeps wiping, yeah. They are um, they are not doing too hot, I must say. Uh, I was hoping deep down that NA did uh, take take this event but it's I mean it's crazy to see the point totals now 311 NA to 470 EU after NA being ahead every single other leg of the event crazy go go EU EU redemptions go go everyone in chat NA don't go down so quietly there has been good representation I will say 75 so far point redemptions for NA 114 for EU and who knew Druid was so strong? Even the Spiritborn can't beat a Druid. I think we're going to have to redo all of our tier lists now after this competition. I mean, this is all the evidence that we need. Shred Druid. You heard it from Barricade. He is having trouble with the Shred. It sounds like it's interesting that they went like two different builds. Woody, and this might be based on the aspects that they found, but Woody went Shred, it seems like, and Rob went uh, Companions and Summons. So Rob's just kind of making a mess of things, and he has a bunch of wolf Summon that the uh, opponents are going to have to deal with, and Woody's, I guess, going around and just shredding them to death, just like you saw there. It looks like Woody just took down DM, and, uh, and now Barricade goes down as well. Pre uniques and Paragon, all classes are about even. Yeah, I think that that's really fair and that's made for some really good competition. While I know the Twitch strats were trying to troll a bit uh, with the Druid selection, it really doesn't seem to have factored in too much, um, at least in this stage. Five minute warning, and we've got. Um, yeah, we've got. I mean, it just goes to show here the Spiritborn strength really comes in like the Paragon. And with both classes not really able to access the Paragon board. Even if they did, you know, it would have been a bit unfair with Rudy not having any Paragon points. Um, it makes for a really fun PvP event. Like, these are very, very close fights. Well, <laughs> maybe not close. Maybe not so close. As Team NA wipes out again. I think they would be close if the levels were a little bit more even. I don't know that necessarily, um, you know, the, the fact that the Spiritborn is involved is really factoring into the balance here, but the, the clearly the levels and the class quest have made a difference for this PvP event. And, I mean, Team EU's points just keep going up and up. 506. They are constantly wiping Team NA. We've got four minutes left, and the giveaway ends in four minutes. Last call. The giveaway timer is going to end, and it will not be extended. So you have to enter the giveaway now if you haven't already. You have to pick a team if you are holding off for whatever reason. You're still not confident who's going to win. Make sure you put in your vote for which team's going to win. Make sure you type in the secret code and go to the giveaway link. Exclamation point giveaway. There's the link. Everyone go. Make sure you enter. Make sure you follow the channel and get your entry in so that you can have a chance to win that beautiful Samsung Odyssey G8 OLED 32-inch monitor that Samsung has been so kind to provide for today. And, uh, and make sure you're followed to the channel. The longer you're followed, if you're followed for three months, 
you get entered into another giveaway. So you can check your follower age by check by typing exclamation point follow age. Anyone have any questions you'd like to ask the uh, the competitors as we wind down wind down here in the last few minutes? Seems like we'll be checking in with them shortly as uh, as the event comes to a close. Uh, just want to say for all of you that are following, if you've enjoyed the event, um, you know Samsung Odyssey are constantly putting on events like this. Um, they're doing events for other games as well. Um, and if you follow the channel, that's just more likely that, you know, we'll get another D4 PvP event or, you know, any sort of Diablo 4 event in the future, which would be, I think, great fun. So make sure you are followed and stay followed to the channel so that you can be updated when those, you know, future events happen and uh, there will be more of them coming up. We'll go over kind of what events you can look forward to uh, in a bit here after the PvP section has wrapped up. <laughs> What's the EU points? Oh. Yeah, EU has been just raking up the points. One, the channel point redemptions right now. Uh, a lot of the EU viewers are finally hitting a thousand channel points and redeeming them. Plus, um, you know, every single kill on the opposing team is five points, and they've been wrecking NA. Um, even Mr. Clean couldn't really recover. I thought for sure Barricade would clean the floor with with EU given his PVP experience, but. It seems like the level differential and the, you know, the class quest is too much to overcome. We're winding down here. Just a few minutes left. One minute, in fact, left. And uh, it'll all be over. PvP experience? Yeah, Barricade does a lot of PvP events. He's always doing stuff for the community. One minute, everyone. Last chance. Get your channel points in if you haven't already. Enter the giveaway. Follow the channel. Last chance. Exclamation point giveaway if you haven't yet. If you just came back from the bathroom. If you didn't enter yet. Make sure you do it. And we're winding down now. It seems like a foregone conclusion. Appropriate. Uh, appropriate message to end on that Barricade's got on his screen right now. So close. It was so close until the end. And it looked like the strategy really paid off that Team EU had. I know people were worrying. Alright, so we're going to do one more 2v2. Just for fun. And uh, and then at, that's as as we do that, we're going to be pulling the winner of the giveaway. And so we'll announce the giveaway winner then. And, uh, and of course, announce the winner of the showdown. All right, that's it. A well fought. Thank you for the lesson. That, <laughs> that was wonderful. Shred is ridiculous. Dude, shred and poison is so crazy. That was amazing. You guys did such a good job with that setup. Holy smokes. But man, the spirit born is yeah. so tanky. When you were in this barrier, like we could not kill you. Like in the Yeah. Yeah, it's kinda it crazy. Uh, we had Gorilla for a bit, did Eagle, guys, a lot of Eagle against guys, you guys. Yeah. It's not over yet. Yeah, we noticed. It's not over. In Armored Hide, yeah. You got oh, one right, more two V two to close us off. <laughs> As if okay. NA yeah, didn't this get is enough. necessary. <laughs> All right, let's sure. just okay, one okay. final nail in the coffin. All right. Let's uh, let's go to the zone and uh, and Would do one like last two. Would you guys like to smack talk us first, or just want to get in there with shovels? Oh, we're staying in this channel for it, so you can smack talk oh. as you fight. Okay. All right. Good luck. All sir. right. Okay. Where do you guys want us? Because I'll just get ready for the pose. <laughs> Where's yeah. likely to be? Wait, we're going back to the rock, right? Yeah. Go yeah, to the, the rock. rock. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's some barrows right here. It's My well, wolves can, can, are hungry, boys. Can you take off your barrier gen items, please, Rob? That'd be great. And whatever the earthquake <laughs> bullshit is, take that away too. That'd be great. And just tell me when you're ready. Uh, I just, um, I just got a mad wolf's glee, by the way. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Let's go. Man. Chet, okay. suggesting a one v two right now. <laughs> yeah, we think. Hey, whatever you do your thing. We think it's an eight eighty five fifteen split. Like you guys are just. Poof. Insane. Rob, every time I'm chasing you down, Woody's just saving. It's like, oh, like, Woody is saving, I have you. But I'm trying to get the M and then like, oh. I can't fight you like melee. My strategy is like poison and then run away. I can tell. <laughs> I've been tasting it for an hour. <laughs> Let's go. Uh, you guys want to count it down? You want to go for it? 
production. Who wants to go? One second before we oh, okay. we do that, we have the winner. That oh, will be announced ooh. after oh. the fight, but the winner has been drawn. We're gonna Amazing. count it down. Congrats! Congrats! Yes. And once you guys are done this fight, we're gonna announce the winner. Who is someone that's in Twitch chat right now? All right, right we're counting it down. Last chance: five, four, three, two, and one. Good luck, dude. Oh. It's been a great event. Good Let's luck. close strong. Team EU versus yeah, Team NA. <laughs> sure you can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, right, you go in first, Woody. Like, you can go with Rob, get out, Rob get out here. Get out here, Rob. Get out. Where's Rob? Get, Rob, get out. Do the chase. We start with you. He finished. There you go. There he is. Okay. There he is. All right. Okay. I'll, I, good oh, luck, Woody. Shred. I'm just straight. observing, guys. Rip. <laughs> He's too crazy. Oh. Oh, oh. Oh. Okay. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> No, the barrier, dude. Okay, the Rob, barrier, dude. You got this, Rob. <laughs> no, it's no, me, the huh? barrier, dude. No, 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 357 Team EU with an astonishing 594 points giving Team EU the win. Rob and Woody, job, you guys. are able to, you guys get to uh, gloat and you get to announce the winner of the uh, giveaway. And you get this beautiful trophy that's on screen right now. So uh, I'm sure to oh, see it see on your streams on. Uh, in the future. But Rob and Woody, <laughs> uh, the winner is posted in the channel. They are in Twitch right, right now, so let them know. Who won the monitor? All right, do you want to do it, Rob? Okay, do do I, it? I see it now, I see it now. Okay, my friends. The winner of the Giga Gaming Monitor from Samsung here is Sondre92. Let's go, congratulations, my friend. Congrats, congratulations, Sondre. dude. Congrats. Congratulations. We get the name up on the screen Boom. just so uh, they know the exact username. Sundre, <laughs> you're the winner. EU also winning today. Uh, Team NA winning, best looking. So everyone goes away with, with something here. <laughs> and congrats to all the competitors. <laughs> And, uh, and everyone that joined today, you guys did great. That was so much fun. Everyone in Twitch chat, the energy was great. So much support showing up for both NA and EU. You'll love lucky, to see it. By the way. Great Let's hosting. go, man. Yeah, great stuff hosting. Great. Here, thank you. Guys. Uh, well, yeah, thank you to job, Samsung dude. for putting on these events. And if you like the event, there's more coming up in the future. Uh, slated for, uh, you've got... Valorant T1 Valorant showdown coming up. You've got League of Legends. There's going to be a Path of Exile showdown too. And if everyone from the Diablo community comes and follows the channel now, they're likely going to throw another Diablo one on the radar. So make sure you look out for that. Follow the Samsung channel. Thanks everyone for all of your participation today. Thank you to Samsung. Congrats on your monitor. And, uh, and I'll give you guys all uh, some, some final words, closing statements. Uh, congrats on an event well um, you know, well participated in from all of you.